Hi guys, so I hope you're all having a nice Easter. Um, I'm going to manage to get out for a couple of hours today. Um, I've not got too long and our farmer's ploughed pretty much all of the land and he's seeded it already so um, I'd say about 90% of it is out of bounds. So I'm just going to hit the same pasture that me and Luke hit in the last video. Um, there's got to be plenty more there. Got my spare batteries. Oh, See you on the first half. Gear. Okay, so the first diggable signal is this little spoon. Ah. Well, it's better than rubbish. It is a bit naff though. Right, we carry uh, on. Nothing too interesting. Um, yeah, I really don't know what that is. Um, it says 661 or, or 991. Who knows? As you can see, the mould's been pretty busy on this field. Hopefully they brought up a few goodies with them. Loads and loads of molehills. Potentially interesting. It's not much. I'll just uh, be interested to see what it is. It's obviously a lid off something, but I don't know what that says. Jill's Denty Face. I don't know. Just another little button. We've had loads and loads of these up here. Loads. That is very cool. And very old, I think. Um, I think it looks like a buckle. I'm pretty sure Luke, um, the other day when we was up here, he had one um, almost identical to that. But if, if anyone does know what it is, if you could let us know. But it was, it was literally just a blip on the old Garrett 400i. Um, it was fairly deep. And as you can see, it's very small and thin. So we've done well to pick it up. But certainly got some age to it. Really? That is weird. I found one of these the other day. Exactly the same button. Um, a mole had pushed it up to the top of the hill. Um, so yeah, I don't know if they were burning the, the clothes that these, these buttons were on or they were lost actually in the field. Guess we'll never know, but it's a really, yeah, it's a nice button, but I don't know if it's a military button or what. Another one to add to the collection. Right, so we're out again. Um, different day. Weren't really out long enough last time. It just started chucking it down. Um, which is pretty much the only weather we've had here in England at the minute. Um, so, yeah, I, I called it an early day and uh, I left. So I didn't really find too much in the last video. So I'm going to hit this ploughed field today. It has been rough ploughed. So it will be pretty tough going. But... It's the field where I had the seal matrix and a lot of Victorian coins, a hell of a lot of Victorian coins. So I'm just hoping the plows brought some up to the surface that I can reach. Um, but like I say, it hasn't been rolled, so at the risk of breaking my ankles, it, it might be quite tough. But we'll see what we find. Right, so first coin is a surface find. It just goes to show what a good old plow does. It's a, it was a bit carry on that, weren't it? I think it's a coin of nothing, this. Uh, yeah, I think it is. There's nothing on it, but, you know, it's a good sign. So, first coin with something on is a rather lovely George V Hapney. I think it says 1960. Lovely. That is a lovely coin. loads of Victorian off this field um, he, I say he's not rolled it yet but this side of the field that obviously the rain battered it that much that it's uh, it, it really is quite detectable so I'm gonna stick to this side um, and hopefully get some more of these well, so far so good another Vicky half penny uh, 18 I think it's 62 nice patina on it again Brilliant Another stuff. little Royal Navy button. Right, looks like we have nice. ourselves a nice chunky coin. What is that? Hang on a minute. Wow, 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 wow. That is the nicest coin I've found for a long time. 1792 George III. Oh my God. 
Oh wow. That is. That is stunning. Wow. If anyone knows what that is, can you let me know in the comments? But I'm actually shaking. Like, that's the best coin I've found for like, oh, a lot of people might think it's sad. Um, you know, it's not silver, it's not a hammered, but bloody hell. That's a it up. It's, uh, it's actually a French coin, not George III. Um, I think you could just see King Louis. King Louis of France, 1792, that is a cracker. Happy days. Very happy. So another Victorian. I think that's the third or fourth. I think it's going to take some beating to beat that French coin though. Big old musket ball to finish the day. I think that's going to be the last signal. That's the exit there, so um, unless I get anything worth digging from here to there, that'll be it. So all in all, pretty good day, lots of coins. Um, really happy with the French two, I found out it's two, two souls. Um, so I'll do a bit more research on that when I get home, but yeah, not bad. Cheers guys. Go. Top five by nine. That's where I was the same yesterday, aren't we? Like that, yeah. It's, it's, it's some sort of serpent, isn't it? It's a dragon or snake, but um, very nice. One for the flow, yeah. definitely. That's well cool.